Hello, I'd like to show you IDOC's Oblique Cross Cylinders Calculator, which is a tool that is geared towards solving a common problem, the misbehaving toric contact lens. It's something we all encounter on a pretty regular basis, at least a few times a week in my case, is a toric contact lens that is not sitting on the eye quite the way I hoped it would, and is not providing quite the quality of vision that I hoped it would. So in these cases, uh, sometimes I'll use LARS, the left add, right subtract rule for adjusting the axis. But sometimes when that doesn't work, I'll do an over-refraction over the contact lens to um, see what power I need to add or subtract to the lens to provide the best quality of vision. And the calculator that I have designed is geared towards using this information to suggest a new uh, trial contact lens to try next. So on iDoc.com you'll go to the Tools and Calculators page which will give a list of the available calculators and clinical tools that are available on iDoc. In this case we want the oblique cross cylinder calculator and I try to make this tool about as easy as it possibly can be the first box here is for contact lens power. So let's say we have a lens that is a minus 2, uh, minus 1.25 axis, let's say 120. You can um, type the prescription in, in any format that you want as long as it has a sphere power, a cylinder power with uh, a sign. In most contexts, of course, it will be a minus uh, cylinder power and then an axis between 0 and 180 degrees. And then tab down to the next box, an over-refraction that is typed in the same way. It can be plus or minus cylinder. Uh, let's say we have an over-refraction of minus 0 0.75 plus 1.25 and axis, let's say, 85 then uh, the contact lens, we can indicate how the contact lens is rotating on the patient's eye. If it's the right eye and it's rotating nasally, we can just click the lens to place the torque marking about where we saw it on our patient's eyes. Or if we want more precision, you can click the arrows to uh, give you the uh, uh, exact degree measurement that you want. If your toric lens didn't have a single marking like this, you can even change the uh, markings to uh, plus or minus 20 degrees, plus or minus 30 degrees, uh, something more like the uh, SEBA lenses with the three markings, and uh, other lenses sometimes have markings at 3 and 9 o'clock. This doesn't change the calculations, it just helps you uh, try to select the lens that looks most like the one on your patient's eye. So once you input these three pieces of information, hit calculate and it'll show you the results of a um, uh, cross cylinder um, calculation. And in this case, I would use 1.75 minus 1.75 axis. I would choose 140 since contacts don't usually come in 141. And I'd order this trial lens and try it on the patient's eye cross my fingers and hope that uh, this would be the uh, the lens for this patient. And uh, uh, when you get the trial lens in the patient's eye, if it's the same brand as your original trial lens, we'll expect it to rotate the same way. But hopefully when it does spin that way, we'll get the quality of vision that we are hoping for.